welcome back to another video and um, today we're going to be creating the um, structure or the framework of our home page right so um, actually before we get to that I noticed something that in our onboarding screen let me show you so that you can see for yourself so if we were to have um, or remove one or add more slides the um, page control does not adapt so and that's because we did not set a um, we didn't set the number of um, items was the view did load oh yeah right here oh. so what we need to do here is we need to say page control dot um, number of pages yep and this is going to be equal to the slides dot count so now if we were to have um, two slides and we run this we're gonna have just two um, dots I hope that makes sense so yeah that works very well so now we can click next and get started sweet so now um, let's head over to the home page and do what we came here to do now in our main.storyboard we have our main page but the first thing I'm gonna need to do is if you can if you look over here this is the kind of navigation we have so I want us to have um, a clear background. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to the app delegates. And right here, I'm going to customize our navigation controller. So what we're going to do is say UI navigation bar dot appearance, which is what we want to change. And I'm going to set background image to an empty UI image object right and um, this we're just going to use defaults the next thing we're going to do is UI navigation bar the appearance and we're going to remove the shadow image by doing the exact same thing then finally we're going to I'm saying self so UI navigation bar the appearance and we're going to set the tint color because the default is blue but we want ours to be black now we can go into, um, we can actually just go back and, and then we click on get started and yes we have a clear background and that's good. So what I'm going to actually do again because we're going to be working with the, we're going to need the, the onboarding screen for a long time. So what I'm going to do is head over to the main.storyboard and I'm going to move the initial view controller off of this guy to our navigation controller. Just so when we launch the app, it goes directly to the home page. All right. So, um, yeah, I see that that works. Good. So now in our, we're going to create a home view controller for our home view. And to do that, we're going to go to our views, create a new group and call this home. Then we're going to create a view controller class called home and then select view controller right here great so now we have that we're gonna need to connect so come here click on this guy and then this is gonna be home view controller and then the next thing we're gonna do is to add a title and then the icon at the right for um, viewing our orders even though we're not gonna implement that right now so we're gonna go to our view home view controller and in our view to load we're going to set the title to be equal to the name of the app, which is what? Yummy. Great. So um, let's actually run this and be sure that that looks good. Sweet. So finally, like I said, we're going to add the icon, the cart icon right here. So I'm going to drag in a bar button. I think that's what I'm supposed to use. So click, drag, put it right there. When you click on this, we're gonna go to the attributes and we're gonna be setting an image and we're gonna use a cart. And we're gonna use this rounded one actually and then set the tint to be our apps red. Great, so now we have that. And as you probably guessed, you could actually just set your title right here to the name you want right so well preference again you didn't need to do this so now we have um, our title bar set up configured 
Um, the next thing we're going to do is to add a scroll view so that we can have the different categories for our home page. So head over to your main.storyboard and we're going to drag in a scroll view like this all the way to the bottom. Zero, 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 zero. Then next we're going to drag in a stack view and I actually have a video teaching how to use scroll view so in case you don't understand then just go ahead and check it. I'm going to leave a link in the description as well. So now we're going to add a vertical stack because that's exactly what we want. We want to scroll like this. So um, you can go ahead and expand if you want. Otherwise, you can simply just add your constraints. We're going to add constraint to the scroll view for all four edges or sides. So this is going to be 0, 0, 0, 0. Right. Now, um, the next thing we're going to do is to actually design the individual categories. So I'm going to drag a UI view right in here. And the first view, I'm going to give this a height of about, um, uh, well, let's not give it a height right just yet. I'm going to drag a label in. Now this label is going to uh, represent the title of our of this particular category and the first one is of course food category okay so um let's go ahead and increase the size a bit and i'm going to make this semi bold i guess and let's change the color of the text to be maybe um Let's use the system gray. I think this should be okay. Or maybe we need it to be a bit darker. Dark gray. Oh, well, let's use this. Let's use this one. So now I'm going to add constraints. And this is going to be 16. This is going to be 16, 16. And um, yeah, I'm going to hold off on the bottom constraint just for now. And next, we're going to need a UI view. And as you've probably guessed, you could if you wanted to have a stack view inside of this particular view right so everything is preference there's a lot of ways you can implement the same thing right so uh, the main thing is it appears good so um, now we have that the next thing I'm gonna do is actually not a view but a collection view so I want us to have different items scrolling horizontally so I'm gonna use a collection view right in here I'm not gonna need the um, cell just yet, at least not now. So um, the next thing I'm going to do right here is I'm going to say um, I'm going to add constraint to eight zero zero zero. All right, good. Now I'm going to give this a height of um, um, let's say 122. All right, so this is going to be 122, and I could decide to give this guy a height just to make sure that nothing odd happens and we need it to be of course um, a single line because it's not even going to change now we need this guy to stretch all the way to the end of the screen so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on I'm gonna hold down control click on the stack view and drag to the scroll view and I'm gonna select equal widths so I want the content of the stack view to always be the same size as a scroll view. Now this, I'm just going to need to change the multiplier to 1 and now it goes all the way across. So I'm just going to remove the background color of this guy just so that um, you know it blends with the background. I'm going to do the same thing for the collection view as well. And yeah, now we have a section created. Now I'm going to use this same design for the two other sections that we have. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this. So hold down option, click drag, it's going to create a duplicate. Click drag again, it's going to create another duplicate. Now this title is going to be popular dishes and this particular one is going to be chef's specials. Or specials. All right. So I'm going to change the height of this to about 300. And um, this one, let's make about 120. And I'm actually just using it because I have done these before. 
so I have an idea of what the dimensions should look like. All right. So um, now we have our um, page layout complete. Um, in the next video, we're going to be working on implementing the design for the categories. Right. So um, see you guys in the next video. Yeah.